Every year, most of my family, if not all of it, would uh, pack up and we would drive from Chicago to Morollon, Guanajuato, our hometown. And we would spend the summers out there. Uh, it was home. I grew up a lot in Mexico. The trips were long, two to three, sometimes four days if stuff went wrong. We went through rain, desert, sunny, dark. The <laughs> thing that I remember the most was the, the just the rest stops. They were pretty scary being a kid and all the weird people we would see there at night. But one day, one day I, I was walking over from using the bathroom and my dad and my uncle were checking the station wagon. All the doors were open, all the lights were on. I mean, everything. It was like a full-blown like CDL school check. <laughs> I I said I said to my uncle, "Why why are you checking it if it's a brand new, you know, station wagon that he had saved up the whole year to to buy it new for that trip?" My uncle said it, it still needed to be checked whether it was new, old, a long trip, a short trip. I didn't understand it back then. But I understand it now. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing, I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Wrong is Strong. If you're new to my channel, or if you're part of my family, you already know what time it is. Soon tell us about it, because we're about to take a ride. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Wrong is Strong. You know what time it is. You know, I always, I always get asked when I like meet people and they, and I share with them, and uh, the conversation starts. They always ask me, uh, "How long have you been saved, or when were you saved?" And I tell them November eighth of last year, <laughs> and and the response is always, "Oh." You're a baby. You just got started. You're too busy. You're reading and studying way too much. That's how the enemy keeps his foot on you. The best one, you need me to disciple you. You need it. You still look like a gangster. You dress like one. Just because you don't say bad words doesn't mean nothing. And I'm not gonna lie, it used to kinda, it used to hurt me. And I would like put my head down and say, man, so maybe do I need to study more? Or maybe I need to rest more? Uh, maybe, maybe I need to memorize scripture. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe I'm studying too much. Maybe I am too busy. I mean, when is God too much, right? <laughs> I love my walk and what God has done in my heart, in my life, in my family. Every time you're, you're getting ready to drive, go out there, <laughs> You need to do a check. There's there's some dangers out there. And there's some streets that you might have to just kind of slowly just put the lock down. <laughs> if you're at that red light, you know, just slowly, don't make sudden moves, just click it. And that's it, you know? <laughs> Sneeze and hit the button so that nobody hears the lock go on. You can't run out of gas can't get a flat tire you need to be constantly moving the motor needs to be good new or old cars it doesn't matter new or old Christians it doesn't matter not saying it won't happen it's about being ready when it does <laughs> The 
Don't be that Omar too busy <laughs> running to work late and not checking the motor before you leave. I just play no more. I love you, bro. <laughs> you can't take the chance of being broken down on the side of the road. Now you miss work. And remember, every day we are here, we're doing God's work. Whether we're at work, at home, at a business, and out somewhere, there is no days off for us. I hate to break the news to you, but there is no days off. And the big question is I always ask myself to do like a motor check in myself because I, I get pulled in a lot of directions uh, all at once sometimes. And I really ask myself, do, do I love God? And you can't say yes, but at the same time, you're hating one of your brothers or you have some kind of animosity against somebody or like, yeah, this is, these are tough questions. Man of God questions that you need to ask yourself. Like straight up, like enough is enough. Like, <laughs> it's not about being weak. This is, this is strength. When you, you could ask yourself these questions and answer them honestly. God knows that we're not perfect, but we have to try. He knows in our heart. Are you at peace with God? You know, a lot of people say, well, yeah, you know, I don't know, I'm at peace. No, like, are you at peace? Are you, did you stop? <laughs> did you stop doing things that you know are wrong because you feel it deep down inside? When you wanna go on your phone and, and watch that porn, cause it's free and it's available and it's right there, and you feel that it's wrong, that you shouldn't do it, so why do you, why do you still do it? The drugs, the, even just talking, thinking, the, the way you carry yourself, and it's, it's not about being perfect. Like I said, God knows that we're not. If, if not, he wouldn't have sent his son. It's gonna be a run, it's not gonna be a sprint. It's about being real with God and yourself. Are you doing what God wants you to do? Are you fulfilling your purpose? And that falls, that falls into a lot of things, you know, being of service, loving people, praying for others, doing for others, not just you, you know? Uh, by nature, we're, we're human. I'm not gonna lie, when I first started praying, when I was in jail and stuff like that, I would pray for me, for me, for me, for me. And that's, that's not the case. It shows you in scripture, how you're supposed to pray and it tells you to pray for widows orphans uh people just sick uh, it, it there's a lot to pray about than yourself yeah how is my heart how is my heart with him today like today because my heart could be good yesterday but how is my heart good today ¿Cómo está mi corazón hoy con Jesucristo? ¿Eh? I've been practicing my Spanish. <laughs> Me gustaría un día ir a Moroleón, Guanajuato, a una iglesia. It's, uh, fue mi pueblo donde crecí y me gustaría un día share my testimony. That's as good as it's getting right now. <laughs> oh, man. New or old? Men of God, check your motor every day. Check your heart. Don't listen to this. This tells you a lot of crazy stuff, a lot of lies, a lot of pain. Listen to your heart. This is how God talks to you. Ask yourself those questions, and they're tough questions. And I ain't throwing nobody under the bus. I'm equal for Eric. But to the new guy, this is for you. God believes in you. He sent his only son to die on the cross for you. If you ask me, that's money in the books. I believe in you. We believe in you. Today, guys, the way I live my life, if I can't see God in everything I do, every decision, every move, every talk, at work, I stop. I stop and I, I listen. And then if I still can't see him, I start climbing that tree. What, what that you know, means is uh, you gotta climb all the way to the top until you see him again. And that's you know, spending time with him, reading, studying, telling him why you're disconnected. What did you do? He already knows. <laughs> so it's like, and it's not about guilt, it's not about shame, it's about none of that stuff. It's about you know, getting purified and, and becoming better. 
Because it does happen. With God, everything is possible. You think, honestly, you guys think that I thought that I was going to be doing this? No. I really thought that I was going to be like super famous. I was going to be on all these TV shows. <laughs> and it was all going to be about me, pride, everything. No. <laughs> Today, the way I live my life. If I can't see God in everything I do, every decision, every move, every talk, work, I stop. And if I still can't see him, I start climbing that tree all the way to the top so I can see him again. It is his will, not my own. And there will be times when others will try to make you feel or, or look the way that they feel. Pray for them. God loves you just the way that you are. Don't let no one get in the way where you can't see God. Move them out the way. You want to hold on to your Bible with a strong grip, not a death grip. Look it up, see what happens. <laughs> My name is JC. I love God and I believe that Christ died on the cross for my sins. I believe that I am a child of God filled with the Holy Spirit. My name is JC. I am Wrong and Strong. This is Wrong and Strong Ministries. Don't judge nobody, young or old. Live savage, it's his will, not yours. Stay in your lane, God first. And remember, live for him. Every single one of you guys, thank you. Thank you for walking this walk with me. I was scared to walk the yard at first, but with you guys, I feel good. I love you guys.